All right, a lot here. Let's start here with you, Mr. Former Major League great pitcher. You said if you're in that spot, you would at least brush him back, maybe hit him too. You, you know, the one thing that I'm upset about, especially from two managers that I respect that have been a part of the game for a very, very long time, they understand that this is taught from the minor leagues all the way up to the big leagues. You make hitters uncomfortable or you hit them from the back down. You don't raise up to the head from the back down. Now, is it ill-advised for the timing of it? Yes, I agree. Did it look bad? A thousand percent. But don't sit up here and try to be a politician and say we don't preach that in the minor leagues. Like, I've lost all respect by listening to that. He understands that that's the situation. The guy has been killing you in the leadoff spot. You want to try to make him uncomfortable. Do I want to see the kid hurt? Heck no. I just pumped him up last night. I'm a big fan of the kid. But the bottom line is, this is what's been taught. It will always be taught. That's why the suspensions aren't bigger, because the, the people that are handing down the, the suspensions understand this has always been a part of the game and always will be a part of the game. You know what, Trade? I'm surprised, because I, I don't think this stuff is taught in the minor leagues. I think it's an old-school approach to the way it was done. And I wonder if they do have communications with some of these younger players, how they handle it a different way. Urania is 3-12. and 12. It's been a horrible year for right. him. They are tied for last in the National League. It's been frustrating. But Don Mattingly really just threw his pitcher, in yeah, my opinion, yeah. under the bus there because it's not his, his job. It wasn't something that was a directive to a young pitcher. And you see that happening more and more now because some of the old school approach is directed to some of these younger pitchers. I don't really believe they understand how to handle these scenarios. You the saw him getting it. Right. The timing of the it. The timing of it. And right. it's the first pitch of the game. Obviously, he wanted to hit him. He, they were sick of the home runs that Acuna Jr. was hitting against them. I just wonder if it really is policed the right way. Did he do it the right way? Probably yes, and, it's, and they're frustrated. But I, I wonder why it, it was the scenario that it was. I, I wish it was handled differently. Yeah. If you're up there in that spot, you're expecting to get hit? No, I, I don't think you're expecting it, especially now. But the old school approach and what, what was used to be preached, I wasn't surprised at all. You're over the railing and, and you have your best hitter up there. You're expecting him to either be dusted, uh, right. <laughs> made uncomfortable, as you talked about. Those are scenarios that you almost expected. Nowadays, this type of game, you're wondering, because I think a lot of people are searching what's happening right now when everyone's coming guards. together. Yes. Yeah, the changing of the guards. And, and listen, I came up towards the end of that era, the 2000s, early 2000s, where that was still taught. So that's all I know. When I saw that situation, I'm like, after the second day of the home runs, I'm like, man, I'm surprised they haven't made him uncomfortable, especially he's hitting 300 against them on the year, so I'm surprised. But the one thing I didn't like about that by Manley is, is saying our organization doesn't preach like that. That could be true, but you keep that type of comment in-house and you deal with them in-house. I, I don't like what he said right there. I don't appreciate that. I'd be upset if I was a starter. So that's the bottom line. I mean, I'm upset if Acuna's hurt. Yeah, I mean, that... I, I, and, and again, let's get, keep this uh, frank. I don't want to see the kid hurt. He's a, a talent, a star. He's going to be a star for a long time, and I, and I get it. But, you know, I'm a fan of baseball. I'm not just a Marlins fan. I want to see the best players out there showcasing their best stuff. But, you know, it, it's unfortunate. The best part of it, though, the Atlanta Braves rallied together. Right. If you look at where they're at and what's going on, they're backing a talented player. They're upset about it. Obviously, Brian Snicker is. But they rallied, and they got a win tonight. That's the most important thing. Playing good baseball, too. More on that a little bit later in the show. So a wild start to the night, wild start in baseball tonight.